What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Another fort video. I told you guys we'd be back at the fort on Friday. And so we are. Uh, we're bringing up some plywood pieces right now. That's we're almost at the fort area. And uh, what we're, obviously what we're using these for is the walls like I said. So we're bringing up some more. It's going to be a, a big trek. We're going to be able to get it. But they're using a system to get it up and it's working pretty well. I got the drills and uh, a... Uh, T-square so we can measure stuff and cut everything but it's pretty funny <laughs> but anyways we're making our way up to the fort and as soon as we get up there I'll pick it back up and show you guys what we're gonna do today so you see you guys in a second alright guys so we made it up to the fort that was one heck of a trek but we made it up you can see the plywood there drinking some waters mice getting started um, Basically, our first objective today is what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cleaning up the roof. So, he's uh, cutting off the rest of the access. You can see over right there, um, there's one more access piece. And right there, there's an access right there. So, we're just going to clean up the roof um, is our first objective. And then I believe we're going to put the tarp up. So, you guys will be able to see that finally. This is really taking shape and it's, it's looking really awesome. You guys can probably tell already from this. It just looks really, really awesome. Especially with this front roof part done. And we're going to be doing the same thing in the rear today. Um, but it looks really, really awesome. So, we're going to get started here. And uh, Mike's going to be cutting off the excess with that little handsaw there. And uh, once he completes the trimming, uh, you guys will, I will do a little walk around so you guys can see the, the trimming job and how it really makes it look a lot better. So, um, with that, once he's done with the trimming, you guys will see that. Alright All right, guys, so what we're going to be doing now is, uh, Mike's still trimming. I just figured I'd film this for you guys. If you guys notice above the door, what we're going to do is we're going to put a piece above that. So what we're going to do is we're going to split this, uh, log in half and make it like a little decorative piece. So it looks really cool. We're just taking the axe and hitting it with the hammer right down the middle. That worked pretty good. Yeah, so that way you're going to use this piece or the other one. Put it right here, like step in from it. So, you'll see how it's like this. We want to make it look decorative, see? Yep. Does that look pretty? Yeah, so we're going to put that little piece up there. It makes it look a little bit cooler. Obviously, we're going to be putting a door later on, but it's going to make it look really nice there. That's basically what I want to show you guys. Just a little technique that we can use for to put that there and make it look a little nicer. So, uh, see you guys in a second. Okay, great. Alright guys, I just wanted to get the fort in this awesome lighting right now. You guys can see that we got all the pieces trimmed off here. It looks pretty awesome from this side if I come around. Okay. Over to here. Okay. That looks pretty oh, yeah. awesome. You guys can see that we put that little decorative face above. Looks really awesome from here. I'll come over here to the right. <clears throat> One second. So, it looks really, really awesome. So next, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be putting the back of the roof on, just like we did the front here. And uh, once we get started with that, you guys will see that. So, with that, see you guys with that. My dad just stepped on a bee's nest. I get stung. <sighs> that hurt. Man, that hurt. <sighs> there was an un underground bee's nest. There's two of them. He got stung twice. I got stung once. Man, that hurt. Oh. Alright, guys. We're measuring um, to put this plywood piece up just to make sure that it's going to fit in there. We're going to put this on the right side of the door and we're just measuring everything up. We have a little new uh, toy to mess with. This little saw here. We're going to try that out and we're going to uh, 
cut this plywood piece to the, to the size here to fit in this area. So he's going to mark that up. I think I'm going to cut it off the other end. And uh, we're going to place it there. I did bring my feet uh, square. I'm going to go grab that. Alright. Man, that bee sting hurt. Uh, I don't know. It's called a framing square or a T-square. Okay. That's for the straight edge. Alright, so once I get it up, I'll get it cut. Maybe you can show them when you're cutting it if you want, see how the saw runs. And then we'll put it up, okay? Yeah. What are you doing now? I'm getting a pen. A pen, alright. Stupid bees. Yeah, I know. I can't believe I got nailed again. <laughs> you got hit three times? Yeah. But yesterday it was about 12, maybe even 15. I'm guessing. I'm guessing at least 10. And 75 inches right there? Yeah. Oh, you're still filming? Yep. Oh. Uh, well, that's good. Stung by bees. Just slide this over the edge. See how it rests on it? Gives you the square. Just line it up to the mark. but for a black and decker this thing works pretty good yeah and it's battery operated nice Hit it with a hammer a little bit. That's where it's gonna go. 
obviously I'm going to square it up a little bit. And screw it in? And I'll screw it in. Alright guys. Once I get it in there, I'll screw it in. So that's how it's going to look. We're going to screw it in and everything, and then uh, show you guys our next project. I think Mike's cutting down trees, right? Yeah, he's getting supplies. Okay. Uh, we only have just a few left here and on the back. Yeah. And then that will be it. Yeah. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be sealing this up. Um, finishing, I think, yeah, just this back side here. Nick should be coming in a little while. Yeah, we, uh, we, uh, Nick's, Nick is coming again, if you guys remember him from a couple of our videos. He's going to be coming up uh, to the fort a little later, so you guys will see him in this video. That sun's really bright there for some reason. Sorry about that. Um, I have been messing with the camera settings, trying to get it to look better, because I know when I angle it to the sun, it kind of looks kind of stupid. Um, but I'm trying to mess around with it and hopefully fix it, so... Yeah, so we're going to mess around a little bit, um, and we're going to get this done. And, uh, you guys will see when we start over here. So I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so what uh, we're going to do, guys, is... Um... We're going to actually start the back and do it like this. And because the back is almost 18 feet off the ground... To the peak, we're going to actually going to frame it out on the inside and actually do it on the inside so the next time uh, we film they'll be in the process of closing that gap in there so what they're doing is since we have the aluminum ladder now we're actually going to cut this handmade ladder into two pieces so that they both can work at the same time up there all right so when we make progress Alright, so now there's two pieces. One there. Yeah, they're about five feet tall. And the, there's a smaller one over there. Alright, so we'll, we'll film again when we're ready. So, uh, what we're doing now is we're putting up this uh, beam piece right here. Reason being is because if you guys remember on the front, what we did is we put those beams up and down like this on the front. And that's what we're doing here. So we're going to put a brace here, and we're actually going to put some braces here. We're going to put some braces here. Um, but the first thing we have to do is put this bottom one, so I'm going to screw that in right now. So I guess I'll do this middle one so they can see it. So there's that one. Okay, so I'm gonna stop for now. Yeah, sure. Okay. But we're gonna we're putting this one in. Then we're gonna put these ones up, and then we're gonna put these ones up. So you guys will see each frame piece we'll put up, and I'll fill in a separate section for each one of those. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, oh guys, what's up? Uh, I just want to show you guys what we got done so far. So you can see, uh, we got some beams up. Uh, we got the support beam. Um, you can see uh, angled up, so we have two on each side, just so we get some nice support beams to put. Um, the straight up and down beams. So Mike's over down there cutting the lengths like he usually does. Uh, we're measuring them. And uh, if you look back over here, um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to put them all like that, just like the front. And then once we get this side done, we're going to do on this the left side of here. So you can see like that. So we're going to finish this whole entire right side. And then we're going to finish this whole entire left side. And then that that side will be done. And we can actually finish this up in here. And then the roof will be done. Um, we do have to trim off a couple pieces in the back. But we're pretty much done with the roof. And we can put the tarp on it. It's going to look really cool. So, just want to give you guys a little update of uh, where we're at in the stream of time. And uh, once we uh, finish this whole entire section here, you guys will see all of this filled in with logs. And it's going to look really cool. So you guys will see it then. Alright guys, so you can see that we got this uh, half of this done. So now we're going to be working on this half. Mike's just screwing in this, this plywood piece up in here. So we got plywood on both sides now, so it's looking really cool. So we got this half done, and now we're going to be moving on to this half, and finishing this up, and putting on the tarp. So uh, we're going to try and get as much as we can done today. So we're going to try and get this whole entire thing done, and this done, and hopefully put up the tarp today. So, uh, I'll see you guys in a second. What's up, guys? So, you can see that we got this whole entire backside done. 
It looks really, really awesome. Um, this is the whole entire back side of the peak complete. Come over here. You guys can see this whole entire front side complete. So our next project, the last thing that we have to do on this back side is we're going to have to, uh, hold on with the, the lights being stupid. Uh, we're going to have to fill this up with logs and then we can put the tarp on. And uh, we're looking really good, guys. This is going to be awesome. So we're going to fill this up and then put a tarp on and it's going to look really cool. So uh, we're going to start here and uh, as we do this, you'll see it. So I'll see you guys in another second. I'm going to put the floor piece and everything. It'll bring it up to you. Guys, as you can see, we got it all filled in. We're in the process of putting up the plywood right now. Okay. Thank you for interrupting. Um, so it's looking really, really awesome. It's really coming together. That can go on the other end. You guys can see the other piece. Go on the other end. Wait, what? Yeah. Uh, that's how we're gonna do it. We're just gonna screw them all in. Yep. There. See? Just a well, show. Show. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's pretty good. Huh. All right. Let's just do it and then show them. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Put all right. Me. So we're gonna do it, and then we'll show you. So I'll see you in a second. That's good, right there. All right, guys. We're gonna apparently we're gonna perform. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, here is the plywood. So that's going to look really cool. Um, it's just attacked in. And uh, we're going to put all plywood on the floor too. Mike has carpet and padding for the floor as well. So it's going to be nice and comfortable. Get a loft. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You have something to say? Nope. <laughs> and the loft. <laughs> yeah. No, like you were saying, we're going to we're gonna put a loft up like we are saying. Um, in one of the first port videos. Planning on having a loft up here. So we're going to... After we get all the insides done, we're going to have a, a build our loft right here that's going to come out about halfway, and we're going to have to have, we're going to have someone be able to sleep up top, which would be really cool. So we're going to have like the main sleeping area down here, and then a loft up there for one person or two people to sleep. So that's going to be really cool. This is a nine by nine. Yeah, nine by nine fort. Yeah. We're going to actually... show it to the natural incline. Yeah. So we're going to put our heads up here. Yeah. So the fort is angled like this downhill. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not this drastic, just to show you. But it's angled down like this. So we'll probably put our heads up here and our feet down there. So, and obviously, the door is right here. Okay. When we first started this fort, we had no idea where we were going with it. We just said, hey, let's build something. Yeah. So it's not the straightest, but this thing is not going anywhere. This thing is solid. Yeah, it's connected to four trees. I'll come out and show you guys around a little bit. I don't want to go too far back because I don't want to get stung by a bee again, but... The sun. Sorry, guys. Looks really awesome, though. Coming together. Alright, guys. We got a lot, lot done today. So we're going to clean it up and uh, I think we're going to pack up for today. So... I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll uh, just come in here, show you guys one last time what we got going here with everybody. Packing up, getting ready to leave. We got Poppy right here. Picking up. We got Michael just screwing in the last pieces of plywood. Looks really awesome in here. Really awesome. Come over here. Looks really, really awesome. So obviously, we're going to have plywood all, this is all going to be plywood. All the floors are going to be plywood with padding and carpet. It's going to, it's going to be really awesome. We're going to have the loft get in there. So I believe, um, I'm not sure when we're going to be back to the fort, guys. But um, I think what our next um, trip here is going to entail is mainly, I can't point out because of the sun, um, but I think our main thing that we're going to be doing is putting the tarp on the roof, putting dirt on top of that tarp, and getting the tarp secure so we'll have a nice rainproof um, ceiling so we don't have to worry about that in the future. 
So that's going to be probably our next project that we're going to be doing. Is uh, We have a little more pieces to finish up on the roof just on this side. It's probably like two or three. That's completely done. And then we're going to put the tarp, put the dirt, and the roof will be completely finished. And then the whole entire thing will just need to be um, plywooded. We're going to put plywood all inside of it. Do the floor. Um, mess with the windows to get those to work pretty good. And uh, we'll be pretty much done. Obviously, we're going to have to do the door, too. Um, but this is really coming to a close, guys. It's really, really awesome. Give you guys one more last shot of the fort here real quick. Looks really, really awesome. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, obviously, leave a like if you did. Um, it's, kind of, it's really, really awesome. I can't wait to see the finished product we got here. But anyways, like I said, that's going to be it. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. And obviously, again, leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. And I'll see everybody in the next fort video or any videos to come. See you guys.